going to be our presenter. I don't see um, him. No, he's not because he logged out. Oh. No, our internet's really bad at home. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm back. I'm oh, back. There <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Can y'all hear me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Merlin. All right, your 30 seconds starts now. 30 seconds. Okay. Everyone in my group, we had a discussion. Uh, we basically talked about a lot of different things, how to interact with comedy. And this is where Julie fills in. Uh, so our internet is horrible at home. Uh, and I think he said comedy was the next word that was about to happen. He's completely frozen. Um, well, and I Zoe. Go so, ahead and finish, Zoe. We look really, really like to reverse trades because I got everyone active at the same time. We really liked the polling. I'll give her 10 more seconds. Go ahead. And we liked the react option. The what? The react option. The oh, the react and option. Thumbs up. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so the key part here too is showing breakout rooms. Breakout rooms, I believe, is the second most powerful tool on Zoom because it changes the dynamic of the conversation, right? With only two or three people in a room, I'm not in control. People can have a real conversation, right? And people told me too, they finished, right? And they started to get to know each other. And that's really one of the keys. So um, that's if you're not using breakout rooms, learn how to turn them on, start using them. And I can also tell you for like first time meetings, we actually had breakout facilitators. So people who knew what was going on, as opposed to, you know, like Julie asked for clarification. If you get stuck into a Zoom room, that facilitator will restate the questions and guide people and make sure that everyone is involved. When we did that for a 40 person Zoom that was interactive, it just went off the chart. People loved it. We also had industry experts there. So, um, okay. So those are the ideas that we have around breakouts. Now, uh, last but not least, uh, we've taken the participation map to another level. So, you know, Debbie Ann has been here. And if you're wondering why she hasn't been speaking as much, it's because she's taking care of this, right? This is from Gil. Gil, give us the belief. Hit me one more time. The what? The belief, the belief, the thing you taught me that I thought was life-changing. Ah, okay. It's never zoom, never zoom alone. Never zoom alone. When I showed this participation map to Gil, it lit a gigantic light bulb in his head that says, I shouldn't be doing this alone, right? I should be doing this as a partner. So Debian is my partner in this. And so it's what we call, uh, you know, a facilitator and a producer. And what happened is, is that she's taking these marks. And what's great about this is she's editing the document in New York and she's changing it in real time for me here in Seattle. So this is how I can see if someone's participating, if somebody's not participating, if someone's talking too much, not going to say any names or not talking enough, right? Not going to say any names. So, but it allows me to do that and manage the conversation. And I always try and, you know, do things. Let's just say that Julie was the shy one, right? And Julie hasn't actually talked for 40 minutes. This sheet would show me that pattern. And then I could just check in with Julie and Julie, I would also establish a rule. A rule is that Julie could say, pass if she had nothing to say or she just didn't want to take the time from the group so i could check in hey julie hey do you have anything that you want to add just please say pass pass oh yeah so okay great thanks julie so now i know i can mark on my participation sheet that i attempted and gave her the opportunity to talk and she passed it up right so she doesn't feel excluded right the exclusion is really a big deal uh, i'll tell you about if you stay for the after hours i'll tell you a story but let's finish this up you guys are now graduates of virtual team building too. And let me just tell you this. This is what's happening in my state, Washington. It's true. It says King County says social distancing is slowing the coronavirus outbreak. I don't care what you believe. I do care that I think every side can agree. The only way we will survive and, and beat this virus is with teamwork. Some of that teamwork, it comes from building the vaccine. And meanwhile, some of this teamwork is all of us working together to try and not get everybody sick, right? So uh, this is the numbers when I first started this class. In April 1st, uh, you know, when this chart started on John Hopkins, we were first. Uh, Seattle was the Wuhan of the United States and was number one on the list for cases. Within uh, April, uh, so again, March 6th was about when we locked everything down. By April 1st, we had moved from first to eighth. Look at the numbers on the left too. Look how fast they grow. 400,000 confirmed. What happened by the 8th? We had moved to 12th. 
I'm a scientist, right? I just want to show that it works. By the 15th, we had moved to 13th place. And now we have a million cases in America, but Washington has moved to 18th place. It's just the data and the science people. We're only going to get through it with teamwork. And this is why I'm so passionate. And I give my time freely to each of you to do this. I want you to use these tools. I want you to help make change with others. I want you to help Zoom suck a little less, right? Anybody have Zoom burnout? Anybody raise your hand, Zoom burnout? Nobody? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Everyone loves being on Zoom 20 hours a day. I'm not on Zoom 20 hours a day. Okay, yeah. So anyways, uh, I have articles for that, but here's the things that I have for you. Um, you're a graduate of Virgil Team Building 2. Thank you so much. Uh, you now get an invite again to the virtual team building group. Some of you like Gil, amazingly, thank you so much, I've joined uh, because I wanna continue the conversation and I wanna see people's creativity, all right? If, I, if you give me something I haven't used and I write about it in the book, I'm gonna credit you, right? And now you're gonna get an invite to the first ever virtual team building three, all right? In three, we're gonna tackle much harder challenges. I'm gonna show you some esoteric things around things like psychological <laughs> safety how to create psychological safety in this box. That will be team building three, right? Uh, of course, the thing I always ask, right? This class has grown mainly because of its viral nature, viral in a good way. Geoteaming.com slash virtual team building. It's in the chat room and it will be in an email afterwards. Just please share that and tell others if you got value from this. And last and not least, uh, I, got, uh, I would love to add reviews of people seeing the book in action. Everything I wrote about here is in the book. 50 digital team building games of which you now have a copy. And if you got something out of today, can you just help with a, a nice review at Amazon book review? And last of all, we're gonna close with not a uh, last word. I'm gonna just show you how I close down my other meetings. This is something given to me by Dr. Simon Priest, the research that I've shared before. And uh, it's around commitment. And you just ask the phrase, um, what do you commit to do with today's valuable knowledge? And you can answer the, the question, I commit. And that's how we're going to close up for today. Uh, again, I'll stay for after hours afterwards, but thank you all for being here. Let's see who uh, has with their I commit statement. So who commits to do something different? Okay, let's go to Jono. Thank you, Jono. I commit to doing, um, to applying some new, some new, uh, new tools, mindset, ideas, processes, uh, really, really find that the rhythm very powerful. So, um, just, uh, just using some of the, the, some of the games we did, some of the processes and the reactions, learning about the actual tools within, within zoom. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Jono. And it's, it's Gubliga, right? <laughs> Gubliga, first word I ever said when I was about one or something. <laughs> uh, let's go to Ricardo and then Rob. I saw Ricardo and then Rob. So go ahead, Ricardo. Yeah, I commit to uh, make every single like online engagement more uh, fun for the rest of the people around me. Thank you so much, Ricardo. Yeah. Ricardo. Um, excellent. Let's go to Rob. I commit a few things. One is to write a great review on Amazon. I commit to um, get involved in the Facebook group and sharing. And I commit to having a networking group on Zoom next week, which includes uh, breakout rooms and, um, uh, and some polling. Excellent. Thank you, Rob. Uh, who would like to go next? Let's go to Gil and then Gina. Thank you. Uh, thank you again, John. It was amazing. I commit to use uh, as much as ideas. Actually, this is the. I um, oh, can't oh, see it. You can see it. Never mind. Um, and I'll be. Um, I'll be happy to. Um, to use as much as uh, as can. I think I will do more activities like the fun activities that, that you showed us. It's good to bring the offline to online. And I think it brings lots of energy. And uh, this, is, um, this is what we need because you can fall asleep during those Zoom meetings. So wh whenever you break the room, bre break out and then come again and do all those activities and even uh, stand up 
all the things are those small changes that make big impact. And mm. this is a solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one does not equal five. That exactly. That's another solution, Gil. That is correct. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Gil. Um, yeah, the, the the movement is so important. But what's also that Gil said is the energy, right? For those who study the quantum physics part, we do have the ability to transmit energy. Look, I'm doing it here to Ontario, Edmonds, North Bend, and San Diego all at the same time. If you felt it, right, that's what you as leaders can do. You're capable of doing it. I'm just showing you that it's possible. So thank you so much, Gil. Anybody else? Okay, oh yeah, Gina, of course. Um, I am committed to implementing the rhythm, uh, caller, you know, uh, what's it called? Caller, go ahead. Caller, go uh, ahead, caller. Go ahead, caller. Um, and uh, I'll do that tomorrow night. Um, tonight, I'm gonna do some mirroring and some virtual hugs. Um, charades, I really want to give that a try. I think that would be particularly great, especially when we're waiting for everyone to kind of show up. Yes. And that polling feature, I have to figure out how to do that. And I love making spreadsheets. So I will um, definitely be making one of those spreadsheets. <laughs> Perfect. Gina gave one of the tips. Log in early. Debbie Ann knows I am, I'm adamant that I log in 30 minutes early. I tell people that, and I stay 30 minutes afterwards. I learned this when I was at Microsoft. The meeting before the meeting and the meeting after the meeting are sometimes the most valuable meetings, right? And of course, who, who logged in early with me? Ricardo, Ricardo did, right? Zoe did, Ricardo yeah. and Julie did, yeah. And we end up having, like, I gave all this bonus material to him and he's like, Oh, well, that was fantastic. Right? You should log in all the time. So those are things that you should do because you can greet people in and you can have a more one on one conversation before you start your content. Right. And so I believe that's another way to like uh, continue to engage people. I know it takes more time, but I'm achieving. I'm being more effective. Thank you, Gina. Who else can uh, who else would like to go? Come on, Debbie Ann's watching you. She knows who hasn't gone yet. All right, all right, all right. All right Merlin, then Zoe. All right, all right, all right. Well, I commit first to going outside and hopping on my internet technician to make sure he squares that away next time. <laughs> and then I could be on time and won't be late, all right? And the energy, I do have the energy. I'm just listening in, trying to fill out how this group session goes. Um, John knows I'm very, I interact with a lot of different things. I'm just that type of person. And I've learned to apply like something like I say, like some little improv to different sessions, different character building. That would be pretty interesting, like Saturday Night Live type of thing, but a little more funny. You know, some of them are kind of boring, but make it interesting, you know? Gather everyone here with a smile. Not everyone's sitting home like this. Oh, I'm so bored, I'm lonely. Let's make this exciting. <laughs> Sorry we're going through this crisis, but that's my idea. Like bringing in some like type of improv you know, different character buildings, you know, things like a character you like to play, someone you thought was funny, someone you thought was serious or whatever, you know, just add that to the activities. I think that would be interesting. Yeah, Merlin, as you can tell, right, part of the improv is reacting. You know, this is different than me being some webinars because I'm reacting to, I'm reacting to each of you. I've been mean, able to call you out by name, right? And when you have a 500 person webinar, you can't do that. Right. And so being able, that's what I'm doing is like the improv comes around that. Like somebody sneezed. I'm like, what happened there? Oh, somebody sneezed. Well, bless you. All right, good. So let's go to Zoe. Thank you so much for that, Merlin. I am committed to learning how to do breakout sessions, breakout rooms and polling. I think that will be a really good skill for me to learn. These are great technician skills. You can get into a lot of places if you help some very famous or other speakers and say, oh, I'll be your technician, right? And soon they'll never Zoom without you, Gil, right? That's, I actually have the Portland Trailblazers performance coach. He's the guy who co coaches Lillian, Damian Lillard. I've, I've now become very good friends with him because I just did a bunch of technician stuff for free. Oh, by the way, my nickname now on his show is DJ Chen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who else would like to go? <laughs> oh good oh that's right julie go ahead julie so um let's okay you just said dj chen right yeah and it's funny because that's exactly what i wrote down when merlin was talking um and maybe you have a name for this game but i think it would be a fun like entire zoom happy hour um do you remember when you were here and we were outside an uh, uh, ice cream shop 
and we were like finishing each other's like made believe rap song. Yes. I want to do that for happy hour. Oh, if you stay after hours, I'll show you this this game. It is freaking hilarious. All right, okay, Kate. Merle's really good at it. So, um, okay, what am I going to implement first? Yeah. I have to tell you that um, I must have felt John's energy before the call because I already put on uh, my partner's calendar here with the holistic business. I told her, look, we're doing videotape today. I don't care. No more excuses. I don't care if it's usable. You're just getting on camera, right? Because uh, we just keep putting it in this forward calendar. So today it just happens to be this calendar. And that was before I got here, before I turned on John. So I was already doing my to-do list, apparently, and my challenge. Um, but once we get off this call, then that's who's next, right, in the hot seat. Um, and the other thing I'm doing with clients is an actual hot seat of testimonials. So I think I can use some of these. They actually meet here in our office. Yep. And I can use some of these during those testimonials. Awesome. Thank you, Julie. It's great that you're working with other businesses in your area, trying to keep them alive. Okay, who else would like to go? Dina. 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 Do you know who I'm going to call next, Dina? What, me? Dina. Yeah, you. Haven't you oh, gone? Okay. Literally, I thought I did go. Did she go? Yes. I didn't hear her, Debbie. Yeah, she did. Uh, I'm sorry. With the oh. Did she go? No, seriously, I must have been thinking it in my head. Oh, I okay. <laughs> you want to share? What do you commit um, to do? I commit to uh, implementing the reverse charades. Um, and joining your Facebook page. Yay. Easy steps. And you'll see other, you're going to meet over a hundred other people who have gone through virtual team building one. All right. And um, yeah, so I'll share a story, which is one of the, the people she came on here and she goes, she first, the first thing on virtual team building one is I, I just want to state that I don't believe that virtual team building is possible. And I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's go. She's from Slovenia, right? And then at the end of the class, she's like, nobody in Slovenia doesn't even understand what this is or wants to do it. And I said, that's the point. You could be the person. You could be the virtual team building rock star of Slovenia. And she like kind of started to light up, right? I got an email from her. She's already conducted two class and an HR manager of her company noticed, right? She's on her way and she's coming to three. So I hope you're all joining me there. So Debbie Ann, did I make sure and get everybody? You did, sir. So Debbie Ann, you get to the next last word. Do you have any observations for today's uh, that you would like to add before I close up the live stream? I just want to thank everybody for playing full out. And uh, I appreciate everybody coming raring to go. And even though we don't know what's coming next, there's always a reason for the games that we play. And take it home and use it even in your family get togethers because it makes them want to come back because you're you're setting a stage for them to be comfortable. And um, then you do more. My, my family game night turned into like, it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> so it's, it's really nice. Excellent. So, thank thank you. you so much, Debbie. And I'm just going to reiterate my last piece, or we're going to wave when I end the, the live stream and then I'll hang out here for a little bit. I'm John Chen, CEO of Geo Teaming. You are now completing virtual team building too. And the only way I believe we'll get through coronavirus is through teamwork. All right, everyone, let's say goodbye.